Hey everybody, it's your girl Monique and welcome to my channel. If you're older but goody, welcome back. If you're just tuning in, thank you. Um, I wanted to start something new on my channel about a panel of questions and my food for thought. Now, <clears throat> opinions are like booty holes. Everyone has them. So I wanted to give you my opinion about some of the things that I've been seeing on the YT um, lately. Once a month, I will do a what Mo is thinking and tell me how you feel about that um like I said this is something new I'm going to give it a try I'm not sure if it's going to work if you really want to hear my opinion about stuff but <clears throat> I'm going to give it a try so if you want to know what subject I want to talk about then you definitely need to keep watching Okay, so I wanted to talk about the wigs that I've been seeing on the YT and the double standards that I also see on the YT. If you don't know what I mean by the YT, I am talking about YouTube when I say the YT for those who do not know. Now, the double standard that I'm referring to is the wig reviews that I see that Caucasian do as opposed to everybody else. Do you feel some type of way if you seen a Caucasian YouTuber doing, let's say, a braided wig? Now, I am not new to the wig game. I have done wig reviews, purchased with my own coins, by the way. I have done wig reviews. I have done videos where I have made wigs. I have done videos where I am reviewing and giving you my opinion about certain wigs that I have purchased with my own money. Now, I have never thought about it this way. Like, um, recently I did a braided wig and I'm, and I, and obviously I'm African American and I'm rocking blonde hair and that is not a natural hair color for me to rock so when I'm buying the hair wigs and pieces and extensions to coincide with the blonde hair you know that is natural not natural for me so why is there a double standard there when it comes to our Caucasian youtubers that also are doing reviews now if I, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because someone else brought it to my attention about the double standards that sometimes happen when it comes to YT period it, you see it all the time with the makeup community they're vicious you understand they are so vicious and you know on that side I don't do that kind of stuff I do simple makeup looks and I keep it like that I'm you know I do not get paid for the YouTube videos that I do so every video that I do I do it because it brings me joy and purpose. You know, some people, this is their bread and butter, so they take it seriously. That's why they are give, pushing out those reviews and videos back, 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 back. Because, like I said, that's their bread and butter. Now, if they, some of them are blessed to be paid for those videos. And some of them are blessed to get those free items that they need to review to be paid for those videos you understand but let's get back to our subject now i recently saw a video at home and the young lady was doing a afro kinky wig look and my first reaction was what the fuck what's she doing who she thinks she is and then that's when it was brought to my attention why is it okay for me to wear long, straight, silky, non-existing hair down to my bootay. But it's not okay to watch this young lady wear an Afro-kinky uh, Afro kinky wig review or braided hair review. Why is it not okay for her to do it, but it's okay for me to do it? You, know, you see where the double standard is. So I wanted to know... My um my family, the ones that follow me, what is your opinion about the double standards that you see on the YT? One of the other double standards that I see is it was it it, it is a YouTuber that who's big. And I stopped following her because what I noticed is that she would purposely go to a smaller 
and I wanted them smaller. I'm still trying to build up my channel. So she would purposely go to the smaller YouTube channels to see what they're doing. And then next thing you know, she's doing it too. And here she got a, a, a million views, a million subscribers. This person only got a couple of thousand subscribers. And here you're still in their ideas. Is it still in the idea when everybody is on the bandwagon? Or is it still in... Because you're pretending that you came up with the idea. Double standard. So, that is Mo's opinion about the double standards that I see on the YT. I'm not really feeling it, but I have noticed that I have been susceptible to seeing and experiencing the double standards on the YT. So... That concludes what most thinking on this video. I will come again soon with my next video on what most thinking. If you have any subjects that you want to touch, please don't hesitate. Go ahead and leave those comments down below. And if you're inclined, go ahead and like the video. If you want to see what Mo is thinking, especially when it comes to the YT, what I see as a YouTuber, then you definitely need to subscribe. Girl, it's going to be lit. I can feel it. I can feel it in my spirit because I didn't held back a whole lot what I wanted to say. You know, I don't want no enemies. I'm still trying to build my brand. Bye, guys.